How did he get this shit inside here? Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you guys are new and if you guys are not new then welcome back, I'm Janine. I need to wash my hair, but I've been partaking in some self-care where I refilled my nails, I polished my toes, love that. And the last step is to wash my hair after I've cleaned up the living room. Um, this week I bought some bamboo pillows for the bed. I bought two because, I don't know, I feel like lately the... Fucking pillows have been, you guys. I just polished my toe and this shit just smudged. Mmm. Mad as hell. Fuck, I'm gonna have to fix this one later. God damn it. So I bought two pillows and I bought this sheet. This is 2000, um... Is it 2,000 thread counts? Oh, it says it's bamboo too. Love that. We're trying to live a better life. Maybe this is it. So what I want to do is I want to put the pillow cases on, put pillow cases on the pillows and put them on the bed. And this sheet I want to put on the bed eventually too, but right now I'm doing something else. I'm going to transfer the pillowcases right now because the ones that I currently have, the pillows, the ones that I currently have on the bed, I don't love. So, the pillows come in this, these two little bags. Take it out after this one got the smudged my, I think I'm going to end up buying some more sheets like that one. Oh, because I really like that it's bamboo right now and I also like this pillow is so soft you guys. Yesterday when I felt it inside of the store, I'm just like, no, I definitely have to. And I had just gone in there to buy the sheet, which I did buy. But when I saw this, I'm like, nah, I have to get, okay, 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 okay. How did they get this shit inside here? Cut this right now, because this is annoying me. When it relates to some things, I don't have any patience. I also need to get some, um, some pillow protectors because... The other one is gonna be this fucking hard. Damn. God damn it. Come on. <sighs> and the pillow feels so heavy too, so I love that. Wait, is there a cover? Oh wow, this is like a cover already. Love that. So I can take this off and wash it. I'm still putting like a cover over it. So maybe I should get one of the protectors and put it over this bamboo cover. The lady was pretty much saying that it's good for your hair. I guess this is the part that would have to touch your hair in order for your hair to benefit from it. But we're not going to do all that. However, I need to take them out of this and this. Listen, I have some water going in the sink in the, in the bathroom. And I need to check on it before that shit overflows. So I'll come back. So guys, you can see how much more fluffier and more plump the new pillows are than the two old ones are. I guess eventually I'm going to have to replace those or I'm going to have to do one of this here and there and whatever. But my husband is going through the process of doing something to his hair. And right now, whatever he's doing is messing up my pillows. So until I get some pillow covers, I can't put any of those on his side. So they're both on my side for right now. Until I get some pillow protectors rather so that I can like really protect the pillows from whatever he's doing. We don't know what that is, but until then, both pillows stay, both of the new ones at least, stay on my side. But I think I'm going to check on Target to see the pillow protectors, but right now, I'm a little bit busy because I'm trying to meal prep. Hi guys, what's up? This week, the week started off right, so um, Sunday I was supposed to go to work and I called out. I had good reasons, but I called out. And then, um... I, the schedule that I got, I was off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and I'll work Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I think I might work coming Sunday, not really sure, but I made it very clear to my manager, I don't want to be working every single weekend of the month, no, I want it on more of like an A, B, A, B schedule, like 
one off, one on, one off, one on. Like, don't nobody have no time to be there every single weekend. Well, some people get to stay home on the weekend. So, no. But today, yesterday, I spent the time to work on my certified nursing assistant resume and, like, my cover letter and, like, my references and stuff like that. Last week, I got recertified for, like, my CPR because it was expired this month or next month. So, I did that last week. I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row because I'm... I want to begin um, applying for jobs as a certified nursing assistant because I haven't worked as a nursing assistant since I got my license. So I want to kind of start getting into that right now. So I called a few of the agencies that you know are there to help you find the jobs or whatever and I feel like the terms that they have just does not make any sense. One of them was pretty much telling me that, oh, so if you're offered overtime, you should talk to the person at the agency before you take it. And I'm just like, what? When you're working with the nursing home directly, you don't have to do that. You could just take the overtime if you want to. I can't remember what I said last, but I was also going through the contract and I saw a part where they were pretty much saying that, you know, if I sign with them and they get me a job at the nursing home for one year, even if a space opens up at the nursing home, I can't take it because I'm already in a contract with them, which I guess on their end makes sense and kind of protects them and make sure that they still have workers. But I just feel like that hinders you. So I feel like this whole process had made me realize the importance of actually just going out there and looking at the jobs yourself. So I'm just like, well, let me first Google a few nursing homes with decent reviews and then call them and ask them if they're hiring for the CNA position. And that's what I did. And sure enough, three of them were pretty much hiring. One that I that I did my um like practical with when I was going to school. And that one is a pretty decent one because they have a contract with my school where they like have to hire you as long as they have vacancies. So I'm gonna I wanted to go to that one today. I was waiting for my husband to wake up to ask him to drop me because we're not trying to spend a bag of money on Uber. So I'm gonna wait for him to get up. I know he's tired because of the shift last night, but I'm gonna wait for him to wake up. It's ten o'clock right now. So hopefully he wakes up before twelve o'clock and could like drop me there and stuff like that and so I can drop the resume off another one he said I should call him today so he could tell me um, his availability so we can see which day I can come in because he was saying that he was available Thursday at 11 but Thursday at 11 I have to go to work and I already called out one day this week so I'm not trying to do that again because now I'm gonna look phony and I'm not that type of person and then one of the other places they said either Thursdays or Fridays. So I'm hoping that next week I get a Thursday or a Friday day off and I could go drop it off. But I really want to either drop the one off, this one, the this off at the school, the one that I went to do the practical with at my school today or tomorrow because these are the last two days that I'm off in this week and kind of get it out of the way to see if I'll hear back from them because honestly... If I had to choose, I'd probably choose the one um, that has the contract with my school. So that's the plan. If I don't get to go today, which I really, really want to go, so I hope that my husband wakes up a little bit early so he could drop me there. But if I don't get to go today, I'm going to wake up tomorrow in Uber because he's going to work the same shift. So it might be the same amount of tired, even though he's normally up by now. But I'm not going to wake him up. So that is the plan. I have I have them all laid out right there on the TV stand. Three different packets for three different facilities. Right? And then, so I want to go drop that off. I also used the time that I was home to make sure that I get like all my documents together. So that if any one of these places call me, I could just lift up one. Um folder and has everything that they need in there and my medical from last year is still valid because i think it's valid for a year so I w i'm trying to get in right now so i don't have to pay to do it again because that shit was like, that it, i didn't have to pay because i had insurance i just had to pay for a few of the blood work panels but i think i'm gonna have to pay this time so we're not trying to do that i think it expires in july <laughs> so i want to see if i can get in now with that and that be it so yeah that is the plan i didn't vlog yesterday when i remembered that i should have probably vlogged it was like nighttime and i'm just like yeah i'm not gonna force it 
but um yeah and i really just chilled yesterday yesterday i made some chicken chop suey and i really just sat here and caught up on some youtube videos i didn't even go on a walk yesterday which i'm so bummed out about so i think i'm definitely gonna go today because when i considered yesterday my break day like i don't i don't really want to do that two days in a row i gotta be doing something so that my body gets used to standing for long and you know you get it so yeah I um, ordered some re a really nice pair of workout leggings on Amazon the day before yesterday and it came yesterday and the quality is so good and I paid $17 for it. Let me see if I can show it to you guys. So, so good. And sometimes when I'm at work, I wear um, leggings because it's more comfortable and like with the heaps of bending and stuff like that that I have to be doing and like the walking back and forth, just, that's a whole workout. So I'll either wear the leggings and my work shirt or I'll wear the leggings and just a black top because we wear black. But the the reason why I really got this one, this said it was supposed to get here today. The reason why I really got this one is because it has pockets on this side. And normally with my other, um, with my regular leggings that I used to wear, they don't have pockets. And so I have to be sticking my phone in my waist or so and that was not cute. This is what it looks like. so so cute and it's long enough so i'm hoping that i like it so i can buy a few more and live in those and like i said the quality is super good and it has two pockets on the side and the price really isn't bad i paid 17.95 for it so love that for me but yeah anyways i'm about to watch some tv because i have a queue already set up on youtube so i'm going to watch those videos and hopefully by the time a few of them are done, my husband wakes up and we could like pop by the place and like call it a day. I think I'm also going to brush up around my hair. So whatever time he wakes up, like I'm already ready to go. But